Podcasting 101 with me, your host, Rachel. This podcast is for female business owners and solopreneurs that are looking to start a podcast to add to your own already awesome offering. I'll give you helpful advice that you can take away and use in your podcasting journey. I hope to answer those tricky questions that just keep you from starting. Once a month, I'll be joined by other female podcasters that will share their journey with you and offer tips and advice they discovered along the way. Let's get started. Hey, hey, welcome to this week's episode. This week, I'm talking about what type of podcast episode should I do? This is referring to factors like length of your podcast, the style, frequency, whether you script it or not. Let's just dive right into the first one, podcast length. This, I mean, your podcast can be any length you want it to be. It's your podcast. But there are some factors that you should consider. This podcast I've decided to do three solo episodes and then a guest episode and then rotate that on a so every every month I have a guest we have guests on and then I'll do three solo episodes. I wanted my solo episodes to be like micro podcasts kind of around the 10 minute mark. This I thought about this when I had a conversation with Michelle Denio, I listened to her on my friend Rosemary Callender's podcast. She does what I do. She's a podcast manager. And her podcast, Strategy in Small Doses, they are all around, you know, the 10 minute kind of mark. They are a strategy in small doses. And I love this concept. I've not come across any podcast episodes that were shorter than about 20 minutes. And... I think that, and we had an interesting conversation around the fact that since COVID, people, a lot more people, obviously pretty much, I mean, a lot of people I know are working from home. They no longer have that commute or they don't always have that commute. Maybe it's only one day now. So that time that they had in the car, on the train, that dedicated time that they could listen to podcasts has now gone. So how do they fit your podcast into their day? So having something like a 10 minute podcast, you, you know, you could easily listen to 10 minutes. You could, I mean, I like to listen to mine whilst cooking. If I go out on a walk, I will put them on when I go out in a car, but I I don't really drive very far these days. You know, maybe 10 minutes, which again is perfect for one of Michelle's episodes. So that's something that I think you should bear in mind is thinking about the listener habits of your audience. If you have a guest on, then, you know, I don't know whether 10 minutes is going to be enough, depending on the style of episode that you're going to be able to get out of them. So I'm aiming for my guest episodes to be about 30 minutes. I think 30 minutes is a really nice time, 20, 30 minutes for a podcast. If they're longer, I don't discount them. There's my film, my favorite podcast, the film review show is a couple of hours, but I don't listen to it always in one go unless I'm doing a long journey. There's also a podcast called The Guilty Feminist, and that's, I think that's over an hour as well. It won't stop me from listening to it, but I wouldn't, I won't listen to it all in one go, whereas hopefully you're you're going to get your listeners to listen to your podcast all in one go. There is a statistic to say that um, some people only listen to 70% of a podcast. So, you know, you hopefully want to grab them in that first listen because you can never be sure they're going to go back. So that's length. So style, are you doing solo episodes? Are you co-hosting? Are you doing guest interviews? You can do a mixture. Just depends on what you want to do. This, you would have, you know, decided in, in, you know, before you started your podcast, in your planning phases, early planning phases, whether you're going to do it by yourself, co-host, my the first guests on this podcast Tamsin and Gillian they do a podcast together also my second guests who are coming up Hannah and Nicole they also do theirs together so there's a lot of podcasts I listen to that do have a co-host my first podcast the virtually inspiring podcast was um a guest 
interview. Every episode was a guest interview. The first one was me introducing myself and my story. But the second one, um, and then from then on till the series finished um, in the new year, they were interviews. Because the what I wanted my podcast to do was to tell the inspiring stories of virtual assistants of how they got to where they are now. So that was the style. Some of them are around half an hour, but some, when I got talking to my biz bestie, Hayley Hudson, <laughs> we, I think it was 45, 50 minutes, and I cut that down as well. We're talkers. But I don't think there's necessarily anything wrong with that. I think that as long as you're fulfilling your goal and you're talking about those bits that will interest your ideal audience then just go for the length that you that works best for you next we'll have a little look at the frequency of your podcast do you want to have a weekly podcast a monthly podcast most tend to be weekly or monthly but I know two podcasts that are bi-weekly which is quite a nice quite a nice time for you to absorb the information. You could do a daily podcast. I don't know whether I listen to any daily podcasts. That's like some serious commitment there. Daily podcasts. Um, if you think you can go for a daily podcast, then you go for it. But you um, work out what works well for you. Uh, if you listen to Tamsin and Gillian's episode, just to mention them again, um, they do talk about their thought process in deciding why they went for every two weeks it's got to fit in with your schedule you know your business as well your family life you know life does get in the way and that that is it's a big commitment to doing the podcast and I think you need to commit you know this is going to be hopefully a 12-month journey for you and if you don't think you can commit weekly then commit once every two weeks or once a month but I think that as with anything consistency is key we hear that all the time if your audience knows when you're going to show up, then you show up for your audience then. You know, a monthly podcast is, and you can and you can batch, batch record. I will talk about this on the next episode about the planning phases and batching is so, so important. And another little thing I just wanted to touch on with your episodes is whether they're scripted or not. I have never scripted any of my episodes. I just kind of have an idea. I have some bullet points of the topics I want to cover. And then I, well, what I was doing before these ones was I was, I ran through them basically without recording them to kind of get myself. And, and when you find yourself stumbling over things and you can kind of rework it a little bit and then, and then I'd go through to record it. So that kind of irons it out a little bit not saying I nail it perfectly, that's what editing is for, but I find that helps once you've said it out loud, it's always works better when you said it out loud. But um, what some people find is that if they script it, they feel like they become too stilted. That's just something to bear in mind. If you feel that maybe you're pushing yourself out of your comfort zone to come on and do a podcast and your solo episodes, you want to script them, that is absolutely fine. I would just say, recommend to run through them so that you you can get that inflection in your voice so that you're you not look like you're reading a piece of paper but you know everybody's podcast evolves and you do learn so it is a bit of a process as well you will get better at it everybody gets better at it the more that you do something so I wouldn't worry if you feel like your first episodes aren't as great as your later episodes it's it's a journey I hope that's helped you work out what type of episode that you should do. It, again, if anyone has any questions, then just let me know. Either DM me or email me. All my links are in the show notes. And look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks. Thanks so much for listening. If you've enjoyed today's episode, please like, share and subscribe. Your support means so much to me. If there's a question or topic you'd like covering, then I'd love to hear from you. Find the podcast on Instagram at Rachie Botfield and drop me a DM. Till next time. Bye.